Well, Las Vegas became a factor in the late night TV wars when Jimmy Kimmel began hosting his live show on ABC. Action News reporter Ron Futrell made the trip over to Hollywood recently and he caught up with the network's newest funny guy. Yeah, Jimmy Kimmel was born in Brooklyn but moved to Las Vegas when he was nine years old. He calls this his hometown. His late night show is a lot different than other late night shows. His style, have you seen it? It's pretty straightforward there. Plus, the show is actually done live to the East Coast. No other show is done like that. When, when Jimmy walks along the Sunset Boulevard right there at the start of a show, that's live. That's not on tape. It's live. As for the Las Vegas connection, Kimmel went to UNLV, but his, his Las Vegas education began long before that. We moved there from Brooklyn when I was nine years old. I um, went to uh, Matt Kelly. I went to Kenny Gwynn. I went to uh, uh, Diskin and Don Darrow, and then I went to Clark High School. I, I worked at uh, KUNV, a local college radio station, when you I was did, in I high know school. That. You worked at K KUNV. Yeah, I did, and uh, I did a little uh, local, uh, like I did a little like local celebrity segment where I'd get like um, uh, Mordecai the jeweler or uh, um, who's the guy, Fred, the guy I can finance you. I yes. don't know if he's still on, but uh, we'd get these guys and uh, and I'd make fun of them. And Right. We're shooting pool there, okay? We'll have the results of that grudge match coming up a little bit later this hour. Kimmel also brought his band leader, Cleto, to the show. They went to Clark High School together. There are a ton of Vegas connections with this show, and we're going to show those to you later this hour. We'll also, and this is sort of an exclusive to us here, we're going to show you some old pictures of Jimmy from junior high school and high school. Yeah, we did some tough investigating reporting to come up with, with that sort of stuff. That's coming up a little bit later this hour. Of course, uh, it follows the Jimmy Kimmel live show follows Nightline right here on Channel 13. More coming up in a bit. The late night TV on Channel 13 has been a little bit different since Jimmy Kimmel Live debuted nearly a year ago. Kimmel and his show have some very strong Las Vegas connections. Ron Futrell made the trip to Hollywood to see the show. Yeah, a number of interesting things about this show. First of all, the show is done live to the East Coast. What you see is what you get. As no other late night show is done like that, first of all. And second of all, Jimmy is from Las Vegas, a product of the Las Vegas school system. So I guess the city gets to take some, some credit for his rise in the comedy world. Today, whether you like it or not, is Michael Jackson. He's everywhere. We moved there from Brooklyn when I was nine years old. I um, went to uh, Matt Kelly. I went to Kenny Gwynn. I went to uh, uh, Diskin and Don Darrow. And then I went to Clark High School. From there, Kimmel went on to UNLV, where it's no surprise. He was a big Rebel basketball fan through the glory days. I miss those days. I miss, you know, I miss more, more than anybody is Moses Scurry was, uh, I think, my, my favorite all time. Because Moses Scurry appeared to be um, like 39 years old when he was in college. Hey, check out Jimmy's show. And certainly it's, an, it's a Hollywood show. It's right here on the Hollywood Walk of Fame is where he does his show across the street from the Kodak Theater, from the Chinese Theater. It's all right here. But the, there's also no question. There's a definite Vegas feel to his show. And Jimmy's Uncle Frank, who I guess you could say sort of does security for the show, works security for 20 years at Caesars Palace. In fact, his daughter's graduated from Gorman High School. Jimmy, so I'm, I'm here right. to get some dirt on Jimmy. I want to hear something. Very mischievous. Jimmy, at the age of about 11 years old, with Sal in Vegas, who's living in Vegas, filled up uh, fire extinguishers with water and would go along shooting the fire extinguishers with water into cars when they stop for a red light. Also from Las Vegas, Jimmy's buddy Cleto. He's the band leader. Clark High School, class of 84. The feel of the show is fun too, isn't it? Yeah, definitely laid back. I and mean, that comes from the top too. Jimmy's pretty laid back. I mean, he works really hard, but it's still, he still wants to have a good time. All right, as for the important part of this story, you saw we were shooting pool there for the interview. Jimmy scratched while trying to hit the eight ball in, so... I guess that gives me the win, doesn't it? Oh, by the way, we were playing for 50 grand is what we agreed to before, so I'm expecting a check, a rematch, double or nothing. My people will contact his people, see if Jimmy wants to um, live up to his obligation here in losing that match. Also want to mention, he may bring his show on the road to Las Vegas at some point. We'll keep you posted on that. Let's go back to the set now. All right, that'll be fun. He'll come here yelling for Ron again outdoors. Yeah, out front. Yeah, yeah all right.